In this video, I wanted to go over a fun weekend project I was recently working on. So this is HyperTrade. It is an event-driven distributed cryptocurrency trading bot. For our tech stack, we use Nats for distributed messaging, Go for our exchange and notification services, React and TypeScript for our web UI, Python for technical analysis, and Kubernetes for container orchestration. So let's take a look. So starting off, we have some charts. We can change the symbol. So let's say Solana. We can also change the chart type, let's say to candlestick. Y axis can also be changed to percent view. And the best part is indicators. So we have primary and secondary indicators. Primary indicators will appear on top of the charts and secondary indicators can be stacked below. So let's enable some indicators to see them in action. And removing indicators is just as easy. Next, let's talk about data frame. So this is the core data stream that the platform uses. Here we can see we have signal, some indicators, and candlestick data. This enables us to view what's happening in real time. And we can also export it into a CSV. Next is our portfolio. On the left, we have our portfolio statistics and a profit loss person chart for all the symbols we are trading. On the right, we have a balance, active positions, and some trades this system executed. Just like our data frame, we can also export our trades to a CSV file. And finally, we have our config. Here we can switch between different symbols. Update the allowed amount, enable or disable trading, and the most important part, strategy customization. For now, let's enable a simple RSI trading strategy. I'm going to change this to 64 overbought and 44 oversold. Now that we have saved our strategy, let's go back to our data frame. As we can see, the strategy has already been applied and we can see the buy signal coming in our data stream. Next, we have our Telegram interface, which allows us to control the system without the UI. It comes with lots of predefined commands, such as get positions, get config, get statistics. Let's enable trading for a symbol. And if we check the UI, the symbol was enabled. For now, I'll just disable the symbol. If you want to learn more about the architecture, make sure to check out the GitHub repo. Thanks for watching.